Tell us about Ezekiel, Ezekiel and the four winds. Yeah, and you know, what does each wind mean? Um, this is uh, a part that I also put in this book. Ezekiel 37, uh, every believer probably knows this passage where uh, God drops Ezekiel down in a valley that's full of dry bones. And he says to him, can these bones live? Uh, and Ezekiel says, well, Lord, you know whether they can live or not. Uh, but then he says to him, prophesy to the bones. I believe this is significant for us because there are many dead situations mm -hmm. that people are going to be facing in life. Mm -hmm. And you're going to need to know how to use the prophetic authority that God has placed in you mm -hmm. to speak life into dead bones, yeah. into dry bones. Mm -hmm. And so he says, prophesy to the bones. And the Bible says that the bones came together, but there was no life in the bones. So then he says, prophesy to the breath or the wind. Speak to the wind. I think uh, in uh, the body of Christ, we can often prophesy to the, the thing that we're looking at, but we miss this key, which is prophesying to the winds. And it is the wind of God, the breath of God that brings life into us. Mm -hmm. And so there are four prophetic winds in scripture. And I'll give you the quick meaning of them. Okay. Uh, number one, the north wind. Uh, in Hebrew, north wind means resources. It means precious goods, metals. It also deals with supernatural provision. Mm -hmm. And so when and we're going to need that, we're going to need that. We need that now more than ever. Yes. And so when you're in one of those situations mm -hmm. where you need the provision of God, not only do you ask him for the provision, but then there is a level in prayer where you decree, you command, and you speak. And you can call for the north wind to begin to blow in your life to bring resources and finances into your life. And then there's the south wind, uh, and that comes from a Hebrew word that means territory. It literally means territory, direction, and it deals with your territory expanding, meaning that you're going to gain ground in the years ahead. Mm -hmm. And so when we call for the south wind, we're decreeing that God's giving us new territory. Yeah. That's in the natural, and it deals with spiritual rulership or jurisdiction. And uh, then uh, there is the east wind, uh, and I wrote about all of this you in do. more detail it's, it's in, uh, in, it's the, in book. the book. It's in the book, guys. It's right here. It's easy talk and I love how you go to the Hebrew and ex yes. explain exactly. Okay, so the east wind. So the east wind means uh, in Hebrew to meet or connect. And it deals with divine connections, the Lord bringing you to the right people. Yeah. And I believe that's so key right now okay. because there are many people that have been praying and they've been asking the Lord, who should I be connected to? Mm -hmm. And when we call for the wind or the Ruach of God to come into our lives, what I believe he does when he breathes into us is he's releasing the right people in your life for the right time. Mm -hmm. and, and it deals with those that were hidden coming to the forefront. So it also represents a change in rank and position for you, meaning elevation in your life. And then the last wind there, the west wind, uh, is one of my favorite. When you read this in the Hebrew language, it means a, to roar or a mighty river. Mm -hmm. And it deals with the sea of people, uh, but the sea in scripture can also represent the depth of knowledge and revelation. And when we call for the west wind to come, it's speaking of the knowledge of God. Mm -hmm. It's speaking of the glory of the Lord that would cover the earth. Uh, and uh, that's what we need to begin to do is call for the four winds to blow. Yeah. And when we call for the four winds, we're calling all of these things into being.